Oh no, they didn't. Oh yes, they did. There's gonna be some cruisers that hate this. Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome to La Lido Loca. I am your host, Tony, here with the latest cruise news and views for Monday, Monday, November the 20th, 2023. And well, let's kick it off with some updates. Update number one, I told you the other day the story about the Texas woman that got banned for life from Carnival Cruise Line for taking CBD sleep aids on board her cruise, or should I say, attempting to take CBD sleep aids on her cruise that kicked off from Miami, Florida. Well, uh, you know, I did get to go deep into the story the other day, and I've read through a few more accountings of what happened. And well, the first thing that hits me is it wasn't a dog that alerted Carnival to these CBDs. The scan of her luggage showed uh, fingernail clippers that Carnival wanted to inspect more greatly. And it was in that fingernail clipper inspection that they saw this sealed bag of CBD sleep aids. And that's where the challenge began. She was questioned, and eventually the captain determined that you know, he didn't want her on the cruise ship and this resulted in the lifetime ban. The other thing I said in the story is that they had not received their money back. So she was on the cruise, her husband was on the cruise, I think two kids. Altogether, they invested about $5,000 or $5,000 plus in the cruise. And at the time that I was talking about it, it seemed like she hadn't gotten any of that money back. She did get about $1,600 back, but now she has an attorney and she's trying to work with Carnival to see if she can get a full refund and possibly get her lifetime ban taken away. I think she's high up in the loyalty, like she's a longtime Carnival cruiser. And so she would like to keep cruising with Carnival. She'd like to get this incident behind her. She'd like to get her money back. So it's going to be interesting to see how this works out, but uh, there's a little more commentary, a little more color on that. And then a second update, sad update, the search has been called off for the Louisiana man that went overboard on the Carnival Glory last week. When I covered the story originally, there was some question whether the gentleman had gone overboard or not. Security footage showed that he did jump off of the cruise ship. The Coast Guard searched uh, 5,000 square miles like the size of Connecticut to no avail, and now they have called off the search. A very sad ending to that story. Those are the updates. Is this the new update symbol? Those are the updates. Now let's talk about today's story. The first story, let's talk about a 75-year-old man that is just celebrating his 30th year of cruising. And uh, I'm gonna share an anecdote with you, but while I'm sharing the anecdote or the personal part of the story, think about that. How many days at sea do you think he has in 30 years? And uh, I'll share a little personal insight. Sometimes I'm bummed out that I didn't start cruising until I was, so if I went in 2017, I was 40, Five, I guess I was 45 when I went on my first cruise later that year, I would be 46. So I, I'm just like this man. I didn't even realize that. I thought I started cruising like later, 48, 49, but no. So 2017, I would have been 45 in April. I could be this guy. This is pretty exciting, but I've always been kind of bummed out that I got into cruising later. And I thought to myself, well, there's going to be people that cruise a lot more than I do. How can, you know, how will I ever catch up? What have I missed out on? You know, regret, 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 which you can't sit in the regret very long. It's just a fleeting thought because I'm, you know, I'm having a pretty amazing time, but I do wish I was having that amazing time 10 years ago and doing all this, but neither here nor there. Uh, this gentleman started cruising back 30 years ago with Fred Olson when he was 45 years old. And well, at 75, he has just celebrated his 100th cruise and his 2,500th day at sea. This is 75-year-old Kevin Harrison celebrating on his Fred Olson cruise. God willing, we all have the same story at 75. It's a hopeful story, very exciting. So regardless of when you started traveling, uh, you can you can do some amazing things. I'd love to hear that though. How many years have you been a cruiser? So I guess this makes my sixth year as a cruiser. How many years have you been cruising? And do you think you'll ever get to 2,500? hundred days, leave a comment below. Cruise news story number two, and you can go ahead and judge me if you want, but the reason that I'm sharing this cruise news story is because of the outfits. We got a group of protesters having a protest in Dunedin in New Zealand, protesting the extinction of certain animals, and they're attributing that extinction 
to the pervasiveness of cruise travel, primarily the pollution that the cruise travelers do. And they had a protest there in Dunedin. There was about 2,600 Princess cruisers in Dunedin that day. And apparently the protest was peaceful and they, they handed out pamphlets to the cruisers uh, saying, we're glad that you're in Dunedin, but the, you know it's sad that these animals have become extinct. And I think there's a lot of truth in all of that. It's sad that animals become extinct. I don't know that you could pin the extinction of a whole graveyard worth of animals on the cruise industry, but truthfully, beyond the, you know, the, the intellectual, the highfalutin part of the environmental protest conversation, environmental challenges of cruising, beyond all of that, the real reason I wanted to share this is this outfit. Well, these are the Red Rebels. How about that? What I, I like a protester that's got a little style. Might be the best protest outfit I've ever seen. It, it, it's very, uh, it's very stylized. As a frequent cruiser and somebody who watches the cruise industry, there's a few things like a few of these issues that come to mind that I wonder how much your average everyday cruiser thinks about. If you're out there and you're just a casual cruiser, even an avid cruiser, do you think about environmental issues? Do you think about labor issues when it comes to crew members? Is this something that you think about or are, do, do you not care at all? Uh, I would love to hear that in the comments below. Okay, now cruise news story number three. Let's talk about a change that there's going to be some cruisers that hate Big news coming out from Carnival Cruise Line that they are going to introduce into the cruising space the very first cruise ship that has cellular connectivity on board in the form of 5G. Uh, this is a big deal. This is a, we're talking about hybrid internet connectivity. This technology is going to be rolled out on the newest Carnival cruise ship, the Carnival Jubilee. So passengers that are going on the Jubilee will be able to make a normal cellular 5G connection on that cruise ship where it's available. And in the event that the 5G is not available, they'll be using Starlink to make those connections. So the idea is to have a broader range of coverage coverage for the want to be connected cruiser. I don't know if we have to come up with a new name for that, but the, the cruiser that wants to stay connected will now have a better opportunity. I'm not sure what the cost is going to be. I don't know if your own cell phone provider will work with the cell phone provider that's going on the cruise ship, but it is an interesting play for connectivity. I'm going on the Jubilee in January. It's going to be interesting to check out, but from everything that I'm reading, this will be a better play. Uh, this will be somewhat of a game changer for people that are looking to have a better connected uh, life on cruise ships. And I, you know, I said there in the beginning that some people are going to hate this because I know there's already people that hate the fact that there is internet on cruise ships and now better internet on cruise ships could be a challenge for people. What do you think? Like, do you see people in their phone all the time looking down on cruise ships? I don't see it a ton on cruise ships. Uh, I mean, I'm certainly getting my phone, but I never usually walk around in my phone. But um, who knows now with this new connectivity, do you think we'll see more of that? Do you think this will cause the deterioration of the cool social aspects of cruising, some of those deeper issues? Or do you think this is good for the consumer overall? I would love to hear your feedback on that. Leave a comment below. Now, just a quick reminder, if you do want to stay up to date with everything that's going on in the cruise news, if you like these cruising updates, do two things. Subscribe to the YouTube channel so that you're notified when the show comes out and hit the like button so that YouTube knows that you like the show. Uh, big thanks on a Monday. This is Tony for La Lido Loca. Until the next time, we'll see you on the Lido. Bye. Cruise news.